Okay, so I have a very interesting math word problem here for you. And uh, a lot of people might think that this is going to be a math trick problem. In other words, when you see the problem and I explain the solution, you're going to say, you know what, this is a bit of a trick problem. But I can assure you this is not a trick problem. Matter of fact, let me go and read it to you. It is the following. A car wash averages 72 SUVs and 50 cars in 12 hours. How many SUVs can you expect in the last 30 minutes uh, when this car wash is open? Okay, so I don't want to really give you too many hints or even to discuss what I'm going to be discussing here right now because I want to give you a full opportunity to show off your math skills and knowledge. So if you know the answer to this math question, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to uh, be talking about something that's very, very confused and very, very important in uh, all areas of mathematics, especially practical mathematics. Okay, but uh, before I get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning mathematics as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Again, the question is, uh, we have this last 30 minutes remaining that this car wash is open. How many SUVs will you expect uh, go through this car wash? Well, the correct answer I would take would be the following. Okay, if you said three SUVs, I would probably give you credit if this was an actual uh, test question. But if you said, I have no idea, or there's not enough information, I would probably accept that as well. So, uh, you know, if you guess, you're like, I'm totally lost here, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, guess what? That is the correct answer if you put that in. And this, <laughs> this just goes to show that if you um, are taking any test or exam, as long as you don't get penalized, you should always guess. Never leave a question blank. And that will really help uh, those of you out there that are math students. But anyways, if you got this right, okay, again, if you put three SUVs, that's very good. If you said not enough information, I think I would accept that even better than the three SUVs. But the three SUVs. But nevertheless, let's celebrate by giving everybody a nice happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars because it's clear to me that you have a, uh, some knowledge, know a thing or two about this word right here, average or average is okay because this with this problem is all about this word right here okay a car wash averages all right we need to understand this word and what it implies and what it means when we have information because oftentimes a lot of people just kind of over um uh, they take to take this word and they assume far too much from what this word implies and i'm going to go ahead and explain myself right now Okay, so here is our problem. And of course, with any uh, math word problem, you want to read it at least three times. So we have this car wash. Uh, it again, averages. We need to understand what this means, right? To answer this question, 72 SUVs, 50 cars in 12 hours. How many SUVs can you expect well, that will go through, hopefully go through our car wash in the last 30 minutes while this thing is open? All right, so once we understand the problem, we want to model the problem, but really can't model anything until we make sure we understand what the average is. And so let's go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so here I have four homes, and the average cost of these four homes is a million dollars. Now, what I'm going to do before I uh, discuss these four homes here real quick is just do a quick, quick review of what the average is. For those of you that are like, I forgot what this even means. Well, let's suppose I have three numbers, one, two, and three. And I said, hey, what's the average of those numbers? So recall what you do here is you add up the numbers in your what we call data set, the numbers that you want to find the average of. So this would be one plus two plus three. And then we're going to divide by how many numbers we have. We have one, two, three numbers. So we'll divide all that by three. So one plus two plus three, of course, this is six. Six divided by three is two. Okay, so the average of these numbers here is two. All right, so that's how you find the average. So just a quick review. And another thing here, before we even continue, is that 
there's a word that's uh, more um, kind of more technically correct that's used in statistics, and that's called the mean. Well, it's not like the average is incorrect, but uh, the mean is uh, really, uh, you know, this is a widely used word, okay? And it means the average. So the average is the mean. The mean is the average. Okay. All right. So here, again, um, I have four homes. And uh, the average cost of these homes is a million dollars. So uh, what does this tell us about these homes? Okay, let's suppose this was some street and somebody said, hey, look, uh, you got these four houses here. Uh, you know, the average cost of these homes is a million dollars. So what would this tell somebody? They would be like, hmm, well, I can't afford to live here because maybe, you know, these homes are about a million dollars each, right? So be one million. 1 million, 1 million, and 1 million. If I add these up, this is 1, 1, and 1, and 1. This is 4 million divided by 1, 2, 3, 4. That's um, uh, um, 4 million divided by 4 would be um, an average cost of the million dollars. But is this what this really means? Okay, is this, is, I mean, are we kind of looking too much in to um, this average? Okay, what this number is telling us. Yes, indeed. This really, we have no idea what this means, okay? So you might say, well, come on now, Mr. YouTube man, fan, you know, this is a million dollars. You know, these homes are around a million dollars. Well, yes and no, but we just don't know, okay? And that's really the main point of this video. When you're operating only on the um, information uh, provided by uh, the average, you really don't know that much, okay? And this is just basic statistics. You know, what's the whole goal of statistics? It's to give us a number, okay, some sort of descriptive number of the trend. So in this particular case, we would want to have a number or numbers that represent, you know, the how much it would cost, for example, to live on this street. Okay, looking at these value, the values of these homes. But the average is not that good of a dis descriptive measure. Okay, matter of fact, it's very misleading. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. If you're saying, well, okay, well, if it doesn't mean this, what could it mean? Well, it could mean this. Okay, let's take a look at four homes where the average is a million dollars. You could have this situation. You have one home for a hundred thousand, another for a uh, home for another 100,000. Okay, these homes, you know, they're not too expensive. Then this house, oh, 700,000. This one over here is 3.1 million. Probably some famous YouTube guy lives over here. But the average cost of these homes is a million dollars, right? So when we add up these costs uh, here, 100 plus 100 plus 7, that's 900,000. Plus this 1.1 million, that's 4 million. We have four homes, a million dollars, right? So, you know, this is far different um, of a picture than each house being a million dollars, right? So again, the average alone doesn't tell us a lot, okay? Now, I'm not saying it's not uh, useful, but it's by it, uh, in and of itself, it's really not all that great. So, you know, you don't want to look too much into the average. Let's take a look at another example here. And here is a uh, nice little mini, uh, mini example of what's actually used, okay? Now, if you pay attention to like the financial news, especially even with like home sale prices, uh, they use the median, okay? The median price. Now, the median price of something is the middle price when you list the prices from cheapest to highest, lowest to highest. So let's uh, take a look at these. Uh, you know, these are five homes, not four homes. So let's say I have 100,000. Then this home over here is 200. This one's 500. Then we have 600 and 600,000. So the median price here is the middle price. Okay. So that's 500,000. That means that half the homes are less than 500,000 and half the homes are more expensive than 500,000. So that right there, the median is oftentimes, uh, you know, used far more than the average or the mean, okay? Because this does tell me like, oh, wow, look, half the um, homes here are less than uh, 500,000 and um, half of the homes are more expensive than 500,000. Now, let's take a look at the average of uh, these um, homes. So we would add these up, 100, 200, 500, 600, and 600, that's gonna be 2 million divided by five. So now the average is 400,000, okay? So this is kind of painting a better picture. So if I said, oh, the average is 400,000, the median is 500,000, I'm painting a nicer picture of, of uh, you know, it's these are, numbers are more descriptive, okay? So again, 
this average all by itself can be very, very misleading. And there's even other things we can do here. We can find the uh, what they call the range. So I can take the um, lowest number and the highest, uh, subtract the highest or the lowest from the highest. So that's basically the spread here, which is 500,000. Then you could do this um, couple other things here. You could find that what we call the standard deviation, which is uh, you know, a little bit more advanced uh, uh, statistical stuff but basically we can get more and more numbers here and by the way there's another thing called the mode m-o-d-e so if there's any prices that occur the most uh, for this example 600,000 shows up twice these uh, other prices only show up once this would be the mode okay so you have the mode the median the mean the average uh, the range uh, the standard deviation so we need a lot of these statistical measures to really paint a good a picture okay and to look for trends or try to have any sort of uh, projections okay and that's what we're talking about we're trying to make a projection in this problem we're trying to estimate how many cars we're going to expect in that last 30 minutes okay so I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the problem um, in, a, in a way that probably most people did but uh, before we see that, I am going to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't uh, ask you if it wasn't that important, okay? Yes, it's important to me, but uh, really it's important to other people because that's who I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to reach people like yourself and um, people that are either uh, interested in learning math or need help in mathematics, okay? Uh, math is a tough subject and unfortunately right now, there, uh, there really is a crisis. There's just not enough um, teacher. Well, first of all, there's a teacher shortage. Second of all, it's very difficult uh, to get highly qualified math teachers, okay, just let alone a teacher. So if you happen to be a student, you know, and you're struggling in math because maybe, you know, uh, your teacher isn't fully qualified, I'm not knocking any teachers out there because that's a tough job, then, you know, hey, I want to share my experience and my knowledge, right? So I have a degree in mathematics, master's, yada, yada, yada. But I've been doing this for many, many, many years. So I'm trying to reach those people that could use my help. Okay, so by you subscribing, it does really help that algorithm. Thank you so much. And if you're going to do that, you might as well hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's get back to the problem. All right, so here's the problem, and most of you are saying, all right, well, this car wash averages 72 SUVs and 50 cars in 12 hours, but uh, this average, right, uh, you know, what, how was it calculated, okay? Was this over one week? Did like, we just kind of find the average, in other words, are these numbers over one week, or is this over one year, okay? So in other words, wow, or maybe it's just 10 years, right? So if I put that in, well, then, you know, you might have a lot more confidence in your projection, okay? You're, you're, and that, you know, that's important as well. But, you know, again, statistics, probability, and things like that, you know, these are all things that it's not a perfect uh, science, okay? So uh, another thing, too, in this particular problem is there's some information that really we don't need here, right? So this car wash averages 72 SUVs and 50 cars. Do I need to know about the cars? Well, you, I mean, the problem tells me that, but this has no relevance on what, um, you know, what the numbers I need to use to do something in this problem. I don't care about the cars. I only care about the SUVs. So this car wash averages uh, 72 SUVs in 12 hours, right? So how many could I uh, expect in the last 30 minutes? Well, if these cars were coming in nice and perfect, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, we have our, our shift here, so time zero and time 12, and then, you know, here's our hours, our first hour, our second hour, our third hour, and so forth. Well, you know, it would be nice in the in a perfect world that all of our little cars are coming in, you know, are totally spread out nice and even. Well, that's not the way it works, but if it did work that way, okay, and if we were almost guaranteed to get these 72 uh, SUVs, over a period of 12 hours and they were all coming in, you know, spread out throughout the day, then you could say, all right, well, 72 SUVs, how many, how many am I going to get per hour? So you can take 72 divided by 12, that's going to be six SUVs per hour. Okay. So I'm like, all right, well, if I get six X as six SUVs per hour, well, if I just cut this in half, right? One hour, I'm going to get three SUVs uh, per 30 minutes. So, I mean, this is why, uh, 
you know, you can justify your conclusions different ways uh, through statistics. Okay, you might say, how many SUVs could you expect in the last 30 minutes? Well, you could maybe hopefully hope for um, three SUVs. But again, maybe we've um, only got, you know, in this day, maybe only 50 SUVs came in. All right. Or maybe 90 uh, already came in. So things can change. All right. So really, this problem didn't have an absolute concrete, specific uh, solution. OK. But the whole point here, again, is to be like, if you get this answer, for example, you're like, oh, it's three SUVs last 30 minutes. That's what's going to, you know, what we're going to get. Well, you know, in real life, people oftentimes, you know, can be deceived, especially with marketing. Uh, marketing can be really tricky and, you know, people can be, hey, on average, if you, you know, if you listen to things or people are trying to sell you something, they might say, oh, on average, it's da, 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 da. Anytime you hear on average, you got to be very careful because people can twist statistics to pretty much say anything uh, that they want. Okay, so hopefully you got some value from this uh, video. Now, if you want to learn more about uh, basic statistics, uh, the mean, median, mode, etc., cetera, uh, probability, things like that. I teach these concepts in my algebra courses. You might want to check out like my um, algebra one, algebra two, pre-calculus course. All depends on uh, what level of math you're in. I'll leave links to all those in the description below. But uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.